Hi, this is Mark Dame with Davis Tech. We're going to get into programming uh, can cycles. Can cycles are drilling cycles, reaming cycles, tapping cycles, boring cycles, spot facing, things of that nature. It's fairly easy. So very first thing we're going to start off with is a most common one is a spot drill which we use for center drills or not too deep holes, things of that nature that uh, you're gonna drill. So we're gonna play like we're gonna drill, uh, actually we're not gonna play like, we are gonna drill a part using a number four center drill. And to do this, we gotta have a blueprint. So we gotta know where we're gonna drill our holes. So the ones we're gonna do right now, the part kinda looks something like this. And there's gonna be a hole here, 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 and here. Basically four holes, or four places that we're gonna do a spot drill. So the very first thing we're gonna do when we go to do this, we gotta know our distances. So this point right here, we're gonna call X zero, Y zero. So we'll have X zero, Y zero. And Z zero is gonna be the top of the part. Then we have a, another hole right here and one right here and one right here. From here to here is one inch. From here to here is another inch. So we'll say two inches and from here to here is three inches. So zero, one inch over, two inches over, and then three inches over for four holes. So we start our program by basically the percent symbol is what we're gonna start off. Then we're gonna give our program a number. We're gonna call it O and the number two. So this is our program that we're gonna do. Then the next thing we wanna do is put in our safety line. We always wanna put in our safety line, which is the G90, G80, G49, G40, G20, and G17. All those things mean basically we're making sure that we don't want to run something that maybe a previous person had run something and had cutter comp in there or was in incremental mode. Those things we want to make sure we're out of. And this is our safety line. Just like anything you want to make sure before you go out the door in the morning, you're completely dressed. If you walk outside and say, oh man, I forgot my pants. It's going to be cold outside or it's going to be hot outside. So this is making sure that everything's where it needs to be. We're in absolute mode, cutter comp can, or can cycle cancel, height thoughts that cancel, cutter comp cancel, we're in the inch mode and we're working in the XY plane. Next thing we want to call up our tool. This is going to be tool number one and we're doing M6. Next thing we want to do is turn on our spindle. Let's say we're going to go S7000 RPM and we're gonna turn it on clockwise, so there's M3. Next thing we're gonna do is call up our work coordinates. And we're gonna use G54 for our work coordinate. And we're gonna to go to X0, zero, Y0. Zero. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it down to one inch or a half inch above our part, which is our calling off our height offset, G43. Since we're using tool one, we're gonna say it's height offset one. And we're gonna wrap it to Z of let's say a half inch above the part. Now for every tool we do, this is what we're gonna use. Basically this information, it's for every tool. We're safety line, call up the tool, turn on the spindle, call up our work offset and our height offset. Now we get into the can cycle. We're gonna do a G81. Our first hole is at X0, zero, Y0. Zero. Our next, uh, we want to, when it starts feeding down into the part, that's our R plane, our retract plane, or our rapid plane. We're gonna start feeding at 0.1 inch above the part when it starts feeding. And our final depth is gonna be Z. We're using the number four center drill. It's gonna be negative 200.2. 95. That's how deep we're going. So we get our chamfer in there for their, our next operation. Uh, then we're going to give it a feed rate. In this particular case, we're going to go 70 inches a minute. Okay. 
Now the beautiful thing about can cycles, I don't have to write all these things for my next hole. I just have to tell it where it's going to go next. It's going to go to X of 1, 1 inch. The Y hasn't changed. I could write a Y in there, but I don't need to. The next hole is at X, 2 inches over. The next one is X, 3 inches over. So now I'm going to have my first hole, second hole, third hole, fourth hole. The last thing I want to do, I want to cancel my can cycle, which is a G80. Then I'm going to go to my G53, Z0, M30, and the program rewind to the beginning. There we go. That's it.